No more oppressed. No more boundaries. Write a letter before July 20th to learn that you have more power than John McClain, New York City police detective, and more money than Bruce Willis, the actor who played him. It's already yours. All of it. You saw the movie. Now live the life. Anywhere in the world you choose. No applications for citizenship could be denied. What if your country had to provide all the things it took for you to survive and be happy? Maybe you wouldn't be looking for that land. Did you know that there are 24 secrets of Wonderland revealed in this book that can help keep you out of courts, undesired contracts, and dangerous presumptions? Bet you didn't know half of them. Obviously, there are too many to go into here. The author followed her heart and the dictates of the cries of the universe of people who are hungry, oppressed, homeless, and war-torn, and wrote the book according to those cries. She laughed when the immigration reform bill didn't pass, knowing that in this book there's an explanation showing all peoples of the world that they can live anywhere they want. And all you have to do is learn how to set the record based on the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, Article 13, which clearly states that no one can be kept from living anywhere they want. While it may be true that if you have everything you need to maintain your life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and may not be searching any longer for the proverbial land of opportunity, you need to understand that when you make an application for citizenship or naturalization outside of where you were born, you are asking for entry into a corporation, which they can deny you. If you set the record to show that you are trying to enter a country and not a corporation, no one can stop you. No one. You are free, and the book Don't Buy It, Secrets of Wonderland, How to Avoid Attorneys and Courts, exposes this secret and makes the immigration bill laughable to those who thought they were trying to come into a country and never intended to ask for entry into a corporate entity. If it is to hit the printed page, it is up to you. As soon as you write a one-sentence letter to Simon & Schuster, who has been selected because this book will serve as the perfect prequel to a book they've already published, The Secret, and stick that letter in a stamped envelope, you will have declared your intent to live free and buy hard. You will have taken that step. You will have sent your wishes out to the universe and it will deliver what you asked for back. You have not because you ask not. You ask not because you do not know how. The book titled Don't Buy It, Secrets of Wonderland, How to Avoid Attorneys and Courts can show you how to live free, buy hard. There never needs to be fighting arguing, contention, or controversy in your life ever again. Choose to go through Gate 3, discussed in Part 4 of this series. Make your voice heard now through a letter. No longer will you be subject to any secrets in Wonderland which leave you feeling like the stupid Mad Hatter or as confused as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Is it any wonder Alice was confused? She didn't know who she was and nothing in Wonderland made sense. It was all backwards. The book, Don't Buy It, Secrets of Wonderland, How to Avoid Attorneys and Courts, shows you that you cannot make sense of nonsense. Don't buy it. The schools and the media are tools to brainwash you into thinking that you can change things in Wonderland. When was the only time Alice was safe? When she went through the looking glass. Even Dorothy didn't know who she was in The Wizard of Oz. But because she was one of the people and not a scarecrow who lacked a brain and not a tin man who lacked a heart and certainly not a lion who lacked courage, she was entitled to the knowledge that she alone had the power to get what she wanted, which was to go home. There was no wizard behind the curtain. She had the power all along, and so do you. By hard. There is a mirror image account being held for every man, woman, and child that is like a prepaid pool and the value that it holds is projected on your lifetime of labor. 
They cannot make money off of your birth certificate on the public side without keeping an equal amount available to you. You're the boss, remember? They are to protect you, not take advantage of you. So why don't they tell you? To keep it from those who would abuse it. Act now. Request that Simon & Schuster publish the book that will reveal the secret on how you show them that you would not take advantage of it. The system is already in place. The problem is, none of us has ever asked for it. We are brainwashed into crying, moaning, whining about the government not doing anything, but we never asked them to. We never filled out the paperwork so that they have it in a written record. Don't Buy It, Secrets of Wonderland, How to Avoid Attorneys and Courts shows that a government is a dead entity with people working for it who don't have a clue as to the overall picture of the secrets in Wonderland revealed in this book. The only thing they can see are written records. Think about it. Every time you walk into a government building, somebody has to get the file, find the record, or look it up on the computer. They know nothing. The only reason people are imprisoned is either they committed a common law crime against one of the people or their property, or someone bought the bond and the prisoner's body is the surety until the bond is redeemed. This book shows how that prepaid pool account can do that. You set the record. Stop pretending that they do and take your power back. Create your records the way this book teaches you. Don't you want it by now? Aren't you entitled to it? Are you willing to learn the process of how to live free, buy hard? Then this is your last chance to write down that one line and mail it. Here are the addresses. Write that quick note now. Send it through gate three, which is the first step to your freedom and shows you are taking an active step in enforcing the contract that underlies your entire life. Look in the mirror and say, if it is to be, it is up to me. This is my day to make a difference in the future of the world. You will be expressing your freedom in a positive way, and it is so easy, unless you are too young to write. This is the author speaking. I'd really like to thank you for doing your part in getting this book into your hands, now that I've done mine. If you'd like to let me know you wrote to Simon & Schuster, to encourage the production of this book, or if you want these links emailed to you, please feel free to contact me at don'tbuyitcontacts at yahoo.com d-o-n-t-b-u-y-i-t-c-o-n-t-a-c-t-s at yahoo Dot com. Isn't it great that we have the system which gives us the opportunity to work together to bless all people?